Good morning, good morning. Wednesday, July 17th. Uh, I'm finally leaving after three days of uh, trying to rest my ankle in Sky Comish. I'm at the deli here and just had some late breakfast. It's 11 o'clock and I'm gonna get out on the trail, but it's raining pretty decently now, so I'm a little bit worried about today. Uh, mostly because the trail gets very slick and muddy. And I had a kind older gentleman uh, walk in while I was eating. I was getting ready to go stand in the rain and hitchhike. And the last people in front of me that tried to do it took him a long time to get picked up. But uh, this gentleman walked in and said, does anybody need a ride? So he's taking somebody to the Dunsmore and then he's going to come back and get me and go the opposite directions to Stevens Pass with me. So not a lifesaver, but holy smokes, that's just so gracious of, of him and it's typical of what happens on the trail so uh, like I said it's 11 o'clock I wanted to get on trail about 12 or 1 I may hang there for a little bit if, until the rain lightens up but I'm not sure but uh, it's supposed to be rainy today maybe tomorrow and then super nice so I'm hoping so I'm just hoping it lights it up it's kind of medium heavy right now so not good to hike in it was kind of misting before which is no big deal but it's coming down now so first off get to Stevens Pass and then um, I have a YouTube uh, viewer that sent me something there, so I'm going to go pick it up. Thank you very much. And then uh, figure out what to do from there. All right, we'll check in later on the trail. Stevens Pass uh, like lobby where the ski resort is. And this is what it looks like in here. Let's get the outdoor chest. I'll show you, uh, I'm getting ready to go outside, but man, I've got to go over this pass. It's not too bad, it's like a little over two miles and about a thousand feet. So it's semi steep, but it's mostly the hard drizzle. That's where I'm going up that dirt path right there. That green sign right there. This is the PCT. And uh, gotta go up over that and into that. So I have my rain jacket on, I have rain pants. Um, a lot of times you get more wet from the grass and plants than you do the actual rain, but uh, yeah, there's nothing going on here, I guess. Yeah, so that's kind of where I came from uh, the other day to the left in those forks, but it's just heavy, heavy drizzle. And I want to do about 10 miles today, so I'm going to be soaking wet. I just hope that all I really wish for is when I'm wet is that when I get to where I want to do the camp, that it's not raining when I actually put my tent up. So that's what I'm hoping for, or I can get under some trees or something, but we will see. I'm going to head out in a minute.
Lady Jane Lake. Very pretty. Right here, I'm at mile 198 going southbound. Every 98 miles, another 100 mile marker for me because I left off at Katie Meadows at 702. So, uh, yay, happy 900. This could be the most miserable, not painful, but most miserable day I've ever hiked. We've got two more miles, 2.2 miles to the top of a mountain to try to camp. It has not stopped raining. And misting now it's heavy drizzle and rains since i started i'm beyond cold and shivering and i'm over i'm over being on the trail today i just it sucks so it, it's kind of a bummer that's 900 miles and it means nothing right now so i don't know how i'm going to set up my tent in the rain um unless there's some cover or something but it's uh the spot i'm going to is on top of a mountain peak so there's probably no cover so We'll see, I have two more miles, so wish me luck. There's all rain coming down. There is some fog, but I have one more water source before camp and then about 1.7 miles to get my 12 miles roughly. I'll look at it when I get to there and then I'm gonna figure out how to put a tent up in the rain, but uh, it's one big hill, 1.7 miles. Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd check in uh, my first day back on the trail after resting for about uh, two and a half days. Um, this day sucked. You could tell by me, uh, I hit the 900 mile marker and frankly could care less at that point. Uh, it's freezing cold. It means July 17th it's, and it's rained on me. I, I did do 12 miles. I have to be on the timeline as usual. Um, but. I did 12 miles and started at, um, can you hear that rain and wind? Uh, started at 12.20 and got in at, um, let me look here real quick. Yeah, about 6.30, so just a little over six hours to do 12 miles. And to be honest with you, oh my God, the trail is just treacherous when it comes to having a bad leg. I mean, it's hard even when you have a good leg, but uh, it just, it just, uh, drizzled super hard up in between drizzle and raining medium the whole time for six hours straight and i was soaked through beyond beyond everything so now i have like silk shoes silk socks um my rain pants and my jacket are completely just a ball now the rain cover that goes over my pack to keep stuff dry is soaked my pack is soaked even though you know i had a rain cover and i i don't know what to think about this I mean, I'm freezing cold. Uh, I've got everything that's dry on, pretty much, and um, I'm in my, uh, you know, my quilt. 
I'm gonna have some warm food, which will help, but I mean, it doesn't seem to want to stop. And I'm on top of a mountain pass right now. I did uh, 12 miles, which is great. So I only have 59 more to go to get the snow quality. So if I do, uh, I did the math. It's like, you know, the, the water and the campsites dictate where you camp, but if the weather is not horrible the next bunch of days, it's supposed to maybe even be rainy tomorrow, which I'm hoping not because I have no way of drying everything out. I, I need to dry it out or I have to get back into soaking everything. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And uh, I'm a little worried about hypothermia, but um, then after tomorrow, it's supposed to be super nice, like sunny and warm and for like a long stretch of time. Uh, today is Wednesday the 17th. Um, we do a full day Thursday, full day Friday, full day Saturday, and maybe I can get in by Saturday. I have to average 19.6 miles a day to get in now by Saturday. But really what I, I want to do is uh, get in really early, like get close, like I did this last time. Uh, get within, you know, five miles or three miles and then just go in, in the morning. Um, I'm testing out my ankle and uh, it hasn't gotten any better. And I'm sure hiking on it doesn't help it, but you know, I just had um, part of Sunday, all of Monday, all of Tuesday, and part of this morning um, to rest my ankle. Uh, I iced it, I used my compression sock, I elevated it, uh, all that stuff. And it would help, uh, like, while I was laying there, it would not feel so bad. But the minute I got up, it was just, just as bad. Today, I slipped uh, all over the place in the mud. But I slipped once the wrong way and tweaked my uh, ankle. And it hurt like hell. So, you know, honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what to think. I mean, um, thank God I have an option. So when I get to, to Snoqualmie, I have a friend that will give me a ride to Seattle. And Dave and Krista, who are my angels that took me to um, Tars Pass if like I said if you want to come and stay and heal up whether I go home or or uh, come back to the trail do it and so I mean unless I have a miraculous uh, recovery in the next bunch of days I'm probably gonna take them up on it because I really need to rest this thing I need to get off of it and ice it and, comp and use compression and all that so that's my goal right now unless my heal my my that's my goal right now unless my ankle just heals miraculously so Sorry to ramble, I just, I have so many mixed thoughts right now. I mean, this has been my goal for years, and uh, I worked two jobs for a year and a half, and I mean, gave up my apartment, and stuff's in storage, and people have gone out of their way to help me, and you guys watch me on YouTube, and um, I mainly don't want to let down myself or my son, and, uh, you know, once I get the snow quality up, then 961 miles, so it's pretty good, almost a thousand miles. But um, between the injuries, I've had two injuries with the shin splints and this on the same leg, and um, uh, the weather being horrible a lot of times, and then also uh, I'm alone a lot. Uh, the luster and the enjoyment is, go is starting to go away and I'm not really enjoying myself. Today, I didn't enjoy one second for 12 miles, not one. And uh, I was miserable, to be honest with you. And um, the weather, of course, affects your mood, but I couldn't see anything. I was freezing cold, just completely soaked, and uh, my ankle hurt, so, you know. <coughs> I just, um, I've asked, I brought this up with a couple of friends and even Dave the Trail Angel, but it's like, um, do you keep going, you know, if you're not enjoying it? And I mean, I think the answer is pretty clear, but I'm gonna, you know, hopefully the weather picks up and I know the weather's affecting me. Um, I'm just tired of this. It's, uh, I was told that after July 4th, it hardly ever rains here. It's been raining off and on ever since July 4th. So um, it's freezing cold. I mean, we're friggin' closer to August than June and it's cold and it's rainy and everything's soaked. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I really don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to hike in mud with my ankle, which is very sketchy, you know, and dangerous to my ankle, but also with everything freezing cold and, and soaked. So, uh, those are my thoughts right now. <coughs> I just try to be honest with you guys and, and how I'm feeling. You know, I think when it's drier and warmer in the next, towards closer to when I get to uh, uh, Snoqualmie, maybe 
I want to be enjoying myself more, but I'm not sure. But anyway, sorry to be so down, but uh, I'm being real. And um, I'm going to eat something hot. And it's like my whole tent is completely soaked, except for I'm on an air mattress on my quilt raised above everything that's cold and wet. So if I fall off it tonight or my my quilt kind of hangs over, it'll, it'll soak it up and get wet. And then if my bag's wet tomorrow, I don't even know what I'll do. So... Uh, these are the things you deal with on the trail, but it just, it sucks. And I just wanted to go go to bed and get a good night's sleep, but now it's gonna be, I don't know. Maybe this storm will blow through and it'll be nice tomorrow, but it's supposed to maybe rain tomorrow, but I don't have uh, any service to check the weather. So anyway, hope you guys had a good day and better than me, and we'll talk to you later.